Right, first of the big questions is, are you going to Australia with Diane for Christmas? Are you staying at home? What's your plan? sleep as you can probably tell i don't feel oh. too bad really instead of no I, at all I, i'm just tired just very very tired i want to wake up and say goodbye so i feel like this is like i won't see you again now for until the final <laughs> will i um, no i might do friday friday my little finalist i'm ready yeah ready to do it I reckon, you yeah, I reckon before you go, yeah, get rid of that bit of toothpaste, there we go, just in case. Oh, it was good. Don't phase me. But yeah, as you would have seen at the weekend and yesterday's vlog, Diane and Bobby are finalists. You've gone, picked me up. <laughs> yeah, they picked you up. <laughs> You've gone the whole way. I've gone the whole way. I'm proud of you. I'm very proud of you, so it's been a day. Ow! Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I just thought I was in pain. Oh, oh my god. Okay. She's a little bit far. Walking around with your big clumpy stomps on. Yeah, sorry. Cheap, broke my toe. I'll be super quiet. But it is bin day as well, so I need to take the bins out before the bin men come to collect the bins. The best boyfriend award goes to. Usually. best day thank you enjoy your week bye <laughs> i feel like the whole start of this vlog so far has been asmr <laughs> it's all whispering asmr now that i'm awake and i'm saying goodbye to dot i feel like normally i used to uh just be asleep because it was way too early for me to wake up so i'd always just stay asleep in bed and then i'll come and say goodbye before going but i feel like now because she's been in the competition for so long it then makes me get up so I can actually spend some time with her before she does have to go. Being in the show um, for the best part of three months, it does really limit how much time we get to spend together. So it's really nice. It makes it really like special for us to have that little time together in the morning before she goes off for the week. And I go back to my daily duties as well. Do you know why I think that I don't have a hangover and feel absolutely fine this morning it might be speaking too soon and i think maybe later on i'll be feeling it i don't know but <laughs> look, at, look at my face it looks like i have a jim henson movie hello um, it's because I have this drink right here, which morphs your face. No, it's because 
I think it's, it's electrolytes. I think it's electrolytes. Remember those little electrolyte sachets that I bought a long time ago? Pre Vlogmas. I bought some vitamins and some electrolyte sachets. I'm going to convince this stuff before bed really does help. Sorry, one more time. <laughs> Who needs Snapchat filters when you've got this? <laughs> oh, that's got me. <laughs> I knew you were there, you little bastard. I saw that slipper poking out. <laughs> right, breakfast time. I'm in charge of eggs. I guarantee what's going to happen. We're going to cook this. And as soon as we've finished it, everyone's going to come back and just nab it. Like, oh, it's ready, is it? Yes, but not for you. Yes, but... Oh, my word. Oh. Yeah. He's off. See you, mate. Have a good one. Enjoy your gun, Jack. <laughs> Boys are off. Safe travels. Drive safe. One last quick lift. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then there was one. I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. Hello. And this does not look a fun 15 minutes. Oh, goodness gracious. Right, okay, so the, the, the plan, the plan for today is to tidy up the house for one and get it sort of back to being nice, not smelling of bacon and eggs making it smell lovely, getting some Christmas candles on the go if I can find any. I'm actually heading into London later today because today would normally be a final straw productions day as it's a Monday, um, but instead I'm going in tomorrow, I think instead. But I am going in tonight because tonight is a, like an end of year party for people at BBC Studios, um, which is where I work from two of the days of the week. How on earth? Is it dark already? I realise that makes me sound like one of those people who, for some reason, even though they've been on the earth for a long time, still can't grasp the concept of the fact that seasons change, and it does every year get dark at the same time at some point. Um, but it's more so in the vlog sense. The last clip you saw, it was still morning. Now it is half past, well, it's basically five o'clock in the evening. Um, I've spent all day catching up on sleep, but bear in mind also, zero hangover from me, which is great. Zero hangover whatsoever. It's just a sleep. My, um, my ring, which I just realized I'm not actually wearing, told me that my sleep score was 40 something. So I think 40 something out of 100, which as we know, is not good. Not good at all. So I had to try and catch up on sleep. And I've been listening to an audio book about sleep as well. So I think sleep is very, very important for human beings in general. And it says that you never really can catch up on sleep. So yeah, that goes 10 minutes off my lifespan, but it was worth it. Editing that vlog yesterday was making me laugh whilst editing it. I love like vlogs like that. I, it, part, part of me wishes that every vlog could be like that in terms of like something like that, of that magnitude with that amount of friends just getting up to fun stuff um, and always fancy dress. I think fancy dress is just always encourages fun to happen. Alas, probably uh, not good for the old sleep and just ruining the next day. To the point where I think what I'm gonna have to do is go to my little booklet of reserved Vlogmas ideas. I was planning on doing the Christmas shoes today, the Christmas customization shoes, just to haven't got the time. I almost need like a day a proper day where I'm not tired to do that and take my time with it and things like that. Now these ideas are a collection of my ideas that I came up with myself and some of them are actually ideas that Zoe um, has passed on to me as well. I just did a last minute tidy up and opened the cupboards and I found a bottle of, well, a quarter of a bottle of red wine in this cupboard. That is so random. And I think this was hidden in that cupboard on purpose because that was going to be saved to put in the gravy. And if you watched yesterday's vlog, then you will know that that gravy needed no more red wine by any means. I am now heading out. I'm heading into London to go to this event for probably about an hour. Oh, wow. Now that is a magic tree. That is wicked. I decided not to go with Sergey this time and walk instead. Um, but it's nice to walk past all the houses and look at all their Christmas lights they got going on. Makes me very jealous. Maybe next year. I actually can't see where I'm going. There's something about being in floodlit places at night on a cold evening in winter that reminds me of like playing football as a kid 
going to a football club. <laughs> Brings back quite good memories, actually. Some very fond memories of being rubbish at football. Also, I forgot that there's been some train strikes this week. So whether my train's gonna come or not, I have no idea. It would normally say on that board if my train's coming or not and what time, but for some reason they're all just stuck saying, please listen for announcements or call National Rail Inquiries. Hmm. Well, this could be the shortest journey of my life. <laughs> Go and see that because David Hunter's in it. Well, that was a trip. Now you're probably thinking, Joe, are you actually all right? I thought you were going to London to go to an event. I went to the event, I wasn't there for too long, and also there was just I, there was nothing I could vlog really. It was and wasn't really a vlogging sort of environment, I don't think. I've put on my Instagram, I've put the question box up for a QA, and I've had some really, really good questions come in. Um, so I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do it tomorrow morning and add it into this vlog. So you're going to see me now wearing something different, probably in the daytime, um, adding it on because I am struggling to keep my eyes open. I feel like I'm not on my top, toppest of forms, shall we say. So I'm going to try and get an early-ish night. Um, so I'm good to vlog for tomorrow and to also add this in. Hello, good evening. Joe Sugg from the future coming at you with the Q&A that I promised um, at the end of the last clip you saw. Not in the daytime, it is in fact the evening now, but alas, I have collected my questions um, and so I'm gonna go through them now and answer them and hopefully cover a lot of the, the burning questions that you've had and have sent to me. Now there was two questions in particular that uh, a majority of you asked, which I will answer both those questions. Right, first of the big questions is, are you going to Australia with, with Diane for Christmas? Are you staying at home? What's your plan? This year, I am going to Australia with Diane to go and see Diane's family for Christmas. And I'm I'm very excited. The thing with me is that I, I like to have, in, in my dream, in a dream scenario, I'd love to do like a Christmas in Australia, then a Christmas in the UK and sort of switch it up back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Kind of like how you do it with like, with with different sides of your family. Like as kids growing up, our one of our traditions was usually a Christmas with one side of our family, then a Christmas with the other side of the family the next year, just to make it fair. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this and, and agree. Initially, it was gonna be our first Christmas here, um, which we were really, really excited about. But then obviously the news about Diane's dad, we thought it's best, that, well, definitely Diane going out there, but also I wanted to go out there to, to support and sort of and sort of go along with her. So this Christmas will be a Christmas down under, which was an experience last time, a very, very unique experience. I still can't quite get to grips with the fact that you can go to the beach in 35 degrees on Christmas day. Last year as well, I, um, I was like, look, I will go to Australia for Christmas only if we can still have Yorkshire puddings. And that resulted in us nearly burning down Diane's parents' house. But yeah, in a nutshell, I am going to Australia with Diane um, and I'm very, very excited about it. I feel like I'm ready for some sunshine. I am ready for some sun. And I do, I do feel like when we go out to Australia, it is the perfect place. It's so far away from here that it's the perfect place to unwind and relax, especially at the end of the year and like early January. There's nothing going on. It is a day where everything sort of closes down. So I feel like I can actually go somewhere far away and especially where they live, it's such a relaxed pace of life so i am really really looking forward to it next question is are me and diane having an early christmas before we do go away um the answer to that is probably no i'm trying to think of it if it's actually physically possible because thing is with the show this is the first time since i was on the show with diane that she's got this far so normally we always ever since we've been together we've always had like a bit more time in the lead up to christmas but it's really interesting for me as somebody that's never experienced this with Diane because every year she's been out sort of Blackpool off beforehand. So we've always got a bit of time before Christmas. Whereas this is the first time sort of experiencing what it's like to have a girlfriend where I'm not really seeing her that much in the lead up to Christmas. So it is weird. I don't think we will get, I think literally the next time I'll probably see her, next time I'll probably see her will be at the final. It's a great time to start Vlogmas basically because it means I've got like no one to sort of really bounce off when I come home. I'm sort of on, at home on my own for for the, the lead up to it. In short, uh, there will be some form of early Christmas, I expect, but it will be quite 
um, I feel it could be quite sort of short but sweet. I think we're both so excited about going to Australia and we're sort of treating that as like our Christmas, to be honest. Right, our favourite Christmas song, I've had, it's changed over the years. I do like Wham, uh, Last Christmas. I like Wham, Last Christmas. I, I really like um, Shaking Stevens, Merry Christmas, everyone. That was always, as a kid growing up, Shaking Stevens was my favourite, Merry Christmas, everyone. I went for a weird era for like two years where my favourite one was um, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, the Power of Love. Don't know why. It was quite like melancholic. Melancholic, is that a word? Melancholy, sort of quite, um, it was very different. I went for a stage of liking that one. Of course, you get classics like Wizard, Christmas Every Day, that's up there. Slade, that's up there. I'll tell you what's not on the list, Mariah Carey, that one's not. That's not, that's not and never has been on my favourite Christmas song list. I think it's got, do you know what? I'm thinking on a lock in. It might change, it might change next time you ask me, but for now, this Christmas, I, my favourite one is Shaking Stevens. Merry Christmas, everyone. Who is the hardest person to buy for? Without question, the hardest people to buy for is Zoe and Alfie. I actually don't quite know why. I think I overthink it, you know? Although, actually, no, in saying that, the last couple of years, I feel like I've been, they've actually been the easiest. And actually, I bought Zoe's present, like, super early in the year. To be fair, though, I've got, for, I've got to chuck Diane in the mix as well, because Diane's quite tricky because she's also very honest. And if she doesn't like a present, she will, it's, she cannot hide if she does not like a present. Will we ever do In the Pan with Joe and Diane again? Do you know what? The reason why we couldn't do it and we stopped it, we had a guy who basically helped produce that um, and he was wicked. He was amazing at his job, um, which definitely helped. And he edited it as well, which saves a lot of time. I think if we're going to do it again, we'd need an editor slash producer for it again. But also we wanted to wait until we had a new kitchen, which we now do. And we've got plenty of space to do it. So I'm feeling like if there ever is a time for In the Pama Joe and Diane to come back, it would be 2024. But in saying that, we'll see what our schedules are like. I mean, I'd love to. It'd be mainly down to, depending on sort of tours and jobs that we do next year. So, so, we'll, uh, so we shall see. Favourite odd family tradition. So we've, we've been playing this game as a family for a long time. And it was this game called, we called it Take It Away, Tip It. And what you do is you get a walnut, right? You've got a line of... See, that's like the dining room table there, look. Um, two teams, one line from one side of the table, the other line from the other side of the table, all facing each other. One team has a walnut. They all put their hands behind their backs and they hide it in one person's hand. So between you all, you put it in somebody's hand. And you go three, two, one, you all hold your hands out like this. And then one person from the other team has to go along the line and go, take it away. And then you go like this and either reveal the walnut or not. And the, the, what they want to try and do is whittle it down and have the walnut in the last hand. And if they guess, if they can work out who's got the walnut and guess, it's kind of like chance, but if they can guess who's got the walnut and they finally say tip it at the end, it's the last hand remaining, and then the walnut's in there, then that team then wins the walnut back. So it's all about holding the walnut for as long as possible in your team. I feel like I said walnut way too many times in the last 20 seconds. Rate the chocolates from worst to best. Okay, do you know what? I kind of find this one quite easy. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna rapid fire it. I know it's gonna annoy some people, but you can fight it out with me in the comments below on this video. Basically, Roses have slipped into last place, Quality Street next, then Celebrations, then Heroes. Cadbury's Heroes is the best, fight me. And lastly, the other question that I got asked a lot was, have I met my new niece yet? So if you didn't know, uh, my sister and Alfie had another little girl called Novi. Um, and yes, I have met her. I did go around and see her a few days ago and she is the most cutest little baby. I'll put a picture in here. That was when I first met her, um, and she is just adorable. Um, and I'm super excited about being an, an uncle again. I feel like I've gone from like zero little ones in the family to all of a sudden we've now got quite a few little ones in the family. But I absolutely love it. It makes me very, very excited for Christmases going forward as they get older. And that's where I'm gonna end this little Q&A. There was so many more amazing questions, but I need to get this video up in time for six. I've got a feeling it's gonna go slightly past six. So if I have, apologies, because we were on a roll as well, the 6 p.m.ers. But anyway, thank you for watching the vlog. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel as well. That's another thing, I need to actually remind me in the next vlog, I need to talk about what has happened on YouTube that has just absolutely blown my mind. Um, but I will speak to you about that in tomorrow's vlog. Thank you very much for watching 
uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And hit the little notification bell so you don't miss these vlogs. And I'll see you again tomorrow with another one. Take care. Goodbye.